Hi and a very warm welcome to yet another tutorial of easy video series. We are covering LaTeX in depth these days and this is our sixth video. Okay, so this will be a very small video just to show you that to print some special symbols in LaTeX you need to take care of a backslash. So let's say this is our document beginning with document class article, begin document and end document. Everything between this gets compiled. I am using Text Studio. You may use your own editor like Kyle or something like that. So Text Studio is recommended so that you can follow my examples more clearly. So just click the build and view and here is the output that you can see. So I have statement 1. So if you see before hash I have kept a backslash. Okay so before the hash I have kept a backslash. If I don't keep a backslash LaTeX will give an error. Because for special symbols LaTeX wants that you should keep a backslash before it. So two backslash as we have already seen makes a new line. So after statement 1 you can see the next statement comes on the new line. 50 percentage. Okay so 50 if you see before percentage I have a backslash. Okay as you know if I use percent everything will be commented. So it won't show any output beyond 50. It's 50 and there is a blank. So, in order to print percentage, I have to keep a backslash of now you see dollar hundred. So I cannot just say keep a simple dollar because dollar means a mathematical symbol in LaTeX. So I have to specify a backslash D. Okay, and then makes another dollar fifty so again you have to use a backslash okay then more special symbols can be ampersand so ampersand also if you see the output you have ampersand you don't get the backslash in the output okay those are just special symbols for latex again for underscore i'm using backslash so underscore it appears and for curly braces this and this i specify a backslash before the special symbols okay you can basically search online for the special symbols and their meanings. You can get a whole a big list of this. Also, you can go on the left pane of this text studio to get the list of various symbols along with their meanings. Okay, I will cover this in future videos also. This was just an introductory video. So, just for the special symbols like percentage, hash and dollar which we frequently use, I made this video. Okay, let me just recompile it once again. 50% of dollar 100 makes dollar 50. 50% so of dollar 100 makes dollar 50. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.